transform of sinusoids. Okay, uh, sinusoids are periodic uh, waveforms. Uh, therefore, uh, it's not possible to calculate the forward Fourier transform. Uh, because the energy uh, under uh, cosine omega zero t is not uh, finite. Now, however, uh, we can associate uh, Fourier transforms to sinusoids. Okay, let's assume that I have the following signal x c t cosine uh, omega zero t. Okay, omega zero t. Now, this is a pure sinusoid, and, and therefore, we expect that in the Fourier transform, it should occupy only one frequency, and that frequency should be uh, capital uh, omega zero. Okay, and therefore, we associate the following uh, Fourier transform for this uh, x c of j omega delta omega minus omega zero plus delta omega plus omega zero and the strength of the impulses are pi okay I'll put pi right here okay so this is the uh, Fourier transform corresponding to XCT. This is a pure sinusoid and it occupies, uh, I mean, it's since it is uh, simply e to the 1 over 2 e to the j omega 0 t plus e to the minus j omega 0 t. So we have two components in the uh, Fourier uh, transform. Now, uh, let's uh, evaluate uh, the inverse Fourier transform to see uh, what it produces. Okay, so little xct is 1 over 2 pi integral from minus infinity to plus infinity xc of j omega e to the j omega 0 j omega t rather e t sorry e omega okay so this integral should be evaluated in two parts 1 over 2 pi integral for pi delta omega minus omega 0 e to the j omega t d omega plus 1 over 2 pi pi delta omega plus 0 e to the j t d omega. Okay, so these pi's will cancel out and we have uh, 1 over 2 e to the j omega 0 t plus 1 over 2 e to the minus j omega 0 t as the result and we have cosine omega 0 t as xct t goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, uh, this, this integral uh, produces only one of the uh, pure, uh, one of these e to the j omega 0 t's, the other one produces e to the minus j omega 0 t, and we have cosine omega 0 t. Okay, since the uh, original signal cosine omega 0 t is a pure sinusoid in the Fourier domain, it should occupy a single frequency because uh, the Fourier transform is an indicator or it determines the frequency content of a given uh, signal. Therefore, XCT, which is this, 
produces the following Fourier transform. I, these are the strength of impulses and they occur at omega zero and minus omega zero. This is xc of j omega. Okay, this is the uh, Fourier transform pair. And, you know, we encounter uh, sinusoids in many uh, practical uh, problems or cases. We have uh, electromagnetic radiation, uh, we have uh, waves, sound, etc. And uh, the Fourier transform of a sinusoid is an important thing to remember by heart.